And as gum tree sales soar, a new report from money.com.au shows most Australians aren't saving, two thirds of them having no nest egg to call on in troubled times. And for those who are saving, they're only managing about $250 a month, some as little as $25 a week. Let's bring in finance expert Michelle Maynard from Carbon Group now. Hi Michelle. Afternoon Lee. In times of crisis, we would think people would be more inclined to save. You would. The notion is to put away for a rainy day, but unfortunately for a lot of Australians, that rainy day is here. Mm. You know, we have reduced incomes, we have the cost of living going up, and a lot of people don't have that surplus money to put aside. So what this report has shown is people are just meeting the day-to-day -day costs of living and not putting anything else aside, which is quite negative. However, there is a positive in that report. With interest rates being so low, a lot of people who can save are just choosing not to. Instead, they're putting that money towards paying down debt and trying to take advantage of low interest interest rates to put themselves ahead. Risky, but also an option to do. Yeah, I guess they're living for the moment. The risks of not saving can seem quite obvious, but what are some less obvious dangers? September is the month everybody's looking at for their, how our economy is going to go and I think the big risk here is a lot of people have put their loan repayments on hold. $274 billion worth of mortgages and business loans were put on hold in March for six months. That expires come September. So if people haven't had any surplus money to put aside for their savings, what's going to happen to the family budget when those mortgages restart again and those repayments need to be made? Obviously having a backup is good. People need to plan ahead because September really isn't that far away. Yeah, absolutely. Get your ducks in a row. What are your tips to help us save better, Michelle? Look, it's not fun, but budgeting. Budgeting is what's going to get everybody through this. Looking for extra ways to make income, such as selling those gifts that you don't want, getting a side hustle, monetizing your hobby, those sort of things. Get that money in the door and put it aside. Secondly, squeeze your suppliers. They want your business. Ask for the best interest rates, the best insurance. Now is the time to be selfish and help that out. Any savings you make, put it away for that rainy day. Great advice as always. Michelle Maynard, thank you. Thanks, Lee.